This is the Bay Area's news station. Cron 4 News starts now with breaking news. Breaking news at 8.30. The mayor of Oakland has been involved in a car crash, and tonight witnesses tell us she ran a red light. Well, the mayor's office has uh, quite a different story. I'm Vicki Liviakis, and this is not the first story we've done about Jean Kwan behind the wheel. She's been caught on her phone twice in the last month, and we have the video evidence just moments ago. A uh, Cron 4 reporter talked to Mayor Kwan uh, about who is at fault. We'll have that report ahead. But first, Cron 4's Alicia Reed is live for us in Oakland. She was first on the scene. Alicia, what's happening now? Well, just moments ago, a tow truck took the two-door Nissan from the scene. The driver was taken to Summit Hospital. She was complaining of back pain. Now, witnesses tell us they saw Mayor Kwan on her cell phone as she blew through the red light. The driver of the Nissan also tells us that she saw the mayor going through the red light, but she just didn't have enough time to step on her brake and prevent that accident. Lower back pain, I'm nervous. I mean, it's like, ugh. I had someone else kid in the car with me, my brother, my son's brother, and that's a nightmare. There's no way you run a light and you don't pay attention and you don't see it, the light is turning red unless you're looking at something else other than the road. What if she would have killed, it was a young driver, a young passenger in the back seat. What if she would have caused him irreparable damages to his body or anything like that just by her, whatever she was doing? OPD says there was an independent witness that tells them Mayor Kwan had the green light. Now investigators were here earlier and say it's hard to tell who was at fault, but they're hoping surveillance video from that grocery store across the street will help with the investigation. Reporting live in Oakland, Alicia Reed, Kwan 4 News. All right, Alicia, there are always two sides to every story and only on four. Our reporter talked to the mayor herself. Scott Rates is live for us on the phone. Scott, what does she say? Well, she says that she is not at fault in this accident, Vicki. She told me that straight up. I can tell you guys just about two minutes ago, two OPD officers just left her ass, got a unit, and, and took off. When I came up here, she was sitting in the passenger seat of a car sitting in the driveway. I asked her a few questions. How are you? I are you okay? I'm going to go take a bath. Are you okay? Um, I'm actually okay. And if you could look at my car, you'll see that she hit me. There were, there were witnesses that said that you were on the phone at the time of the crash. Is that true? You want to see something? Can I show you this? Sure. Be off camera. I'll show you my phone log. And you said you said that you were not at fault here on this accident? I, I don't think so. Okay. But you're okay. It's okay. It's still a very brief encounter there. Right. Very brief encounter there. Um, you can see that one spot there where she, she looked at me and, and, and I said, uh, were you on the phone at the time of the crash? Witnesses said that you might have been. And she asked me if I wanted to look at the phone line. And we would do that off camera. So when she handed the phone over and she showed me the phone line, it was very hard to tell you know, whether uh, she was on the phone at the time of the crash or not. I'm going to stay out here in front of her house if we get any more information if she comes out and says anything else. All right, sure Scott, yeah. also, when you have a chance, uh, let's show us the video of the car. We're curious to see it. Uh, and hopefully you'll get a better cell signal when we check with you a little bit later. As we mentioned, Kwan for viewers, they've caught Mayor Kwan on her phone behind the wheel recently. That's a story you saw first on 4. Uh, this is a picture that was sent to us. Uh, it appears to show the mayor on her phone while her vehicle was stopped. And another photo was sent to us soon after that, showing the mayor with her phone to her ear while she was driving. The mayor did tell us that uh, she gets tired and may have unconsciously picked up the phone. She also told us in a previous interview that she would look into getting a driver. And keep it here for the latest on the Oakland Mayor Crash updates on the web at cron4.com, on our Facebook and our Twitter pages. Also, we'll have more coming up in this newscast.